Hi everyone. Let's solve question number thirty-nine. Let f x equals to five mod x plus x times x minus two. Let s be the set of all real numbers x such that f x is greater than equals to zero. Then s equals. So we have two conditions over here. Either we, because we have mod over here, we have two conditions. Either x is greater than equals to zero or x is less than zero. Right. So in case in the first case, this would open as positive. So f x would be five x. Plus x square minus 2x, so that would become x square plus 3x. Now we have to make it greater than equals to zero. So that would give me x times x plus 3 is greater than equals to zero. So that gives me x belongs to minus infinity to zero. Sorry, minus 3 union zero to infinity. But we know that the basic condition was x was greater than equals to zero. So this cannot be the answer. So with this condition, we get x belongs to zero to infinity with a close bracket at zero, right? Now for the second condition, f x would be five minus five x because x is less than zero. So modulus will open with negative sign. Minus five x plus x square minus two x. So that would give me x square minus seven x. So that is x x minus seven. That is greater than equals to zero, right? now this gives me the condition x belongs to minus infinity to zero close bracket close bracket 7 to infinity right now again this was defined as x was less than zero so this cannot be the case and also since it's less than zero so we cannot have a close bracket over here so the actual answer should be x belongs to minus infinity to zero open bracket now you have to take union of both of both the cases we have both the cases So if we take the union, we'll be getting x belongs to minus infinity to infinity only. So set of all real numbers should be the answer.